Keep killing half with Giga, then splash Avatar. Almost every game you have a ton of funds. I guess it's money. Um, not a glitch, Arlong. Like, the stealth tank, the second missile hasn't hit before the third missile fires, so it's still firing at a live target. There's nothing in this game that stops, um, there's nothing in this game that stops projectiles firing at a unit that is already going to die. Uh, I don't think the avatar is worth splashing, because so if you play, oh my god, an orca rush? Are you actually kidding me? Is this reality? Alright, well. Thick. Thick rush, bro. So yeah, um, the reason, if you splash Avatar, then if you come up against an Avatar deck, you're just playing a mirror. Which is just worse, I think, than... Like, playing a mirror against an Avatar deck is just worse than having the counter to Avatar. Which is, which is Basilisk. That's the same reason we played Basilisk in the previous Blitzes. You could play Avatar on this, on this map, but... Oh god. You're not gonna get my harvester, man. It's just not happening. Okay. I don't think this guy has a harvester. No. You can't invest that much on a, in an orca and then still have a harvester at this point. It, it is intended, but I don't know if it's great. Like, I don't know if it's a good thing um, that you can fire projectiles at units that have already died. I feel like it maybe is a negative. Yeah, that's yeah, that's the dude who goes on Discord and goes, my level 8 orca could never win against his level 10s, or level 9. Levels are so unfair. That's probably doing the guy a disservice. You don't know. He might have just been like, fuck it, I'm going to try an orca rush this game. Maybe orca rush works really well for him a lot of the time he plays. You know, Maybe most people he plays against go double harvester. An Orca Rush is really strong. Who knows? I need to pick it up, man. I can't believe I keep losing to MGs. I need to stop being garbage at the game. Walker Rush is obviously terrible, but that doesn't mean that it's never worked. Like, I think Jump Jet Rush is kind of terrible, but people do it all the time. Ugh, MGs again? Are these Flamers going to win against this MG? They are, right? I was not even shooting the Flamers. That helps. See, these are the kind of MG players that make you think MGs are fine. And then you play against someone competent, and you're like, oh my god, MGs are oppressive. <laughs> Where's that harvester going, bud? So... Why did my Giga reset? Hey, what's up, Nick? Yeah, I think the new unit is probably... I don't think OP is fair to say. Well, I don't know. Maybe it is. I think it's just a tier 2 anti-vehicle infantry, which is something we've needed for a while. 
Like, it still dies super quickly to its counters, right? Like, infantry kill it and air kill it. So, it just doesn't die to vehicles, I guess. Which I think is okay. I don't know, maybe it's not. Units that shut down an entire building are kind of oppressive. Like, Hammerhead and Phantom are stupid because they shut down air completely. Um, anytime there's been a unit that's shut down an entire building, it's been kind of stupid. Like, Flames and Shocks shut down barracks for a long time when they were overpowered. Like, just on their own. That was stupid. So maybe if they're shutting down all War Factory, that's bad. It's hard to say. They only do one thing, though, right? Like, they only kill vehicles. They're an infantry unit that only kills vehicles. I'm trying to think what a similar... Like, a similar thing is like a Hammerhead or Phantom, but it's hard to say that that's okay, because I think those units are kind of stupid as well. Yeah, chase me. I don't know why I made Flamers. I should just make wheels wheels are so much better yeah this flamer was a mistake this should just been more wheel this should just been wheels i'll correct that mistake now where are these bikes going are they going for my harvesters yes they are or harvester i should Alright, strong. Strong stuff. No, oh, don't shoot my wheelie, boys. Uh, this map reminds me of Rorschach. I had a lot of games on Rorschach where I just killed people's bases with Giga or tanks or whatever. Seems like a lot of games just end with base kills. I mean, like, the ones where you're dominating, obviously. This one, at least the pads are relevant. In Rorschach, you basically never even went near the pads. Then you can... Uh, quarterback. The Grenadier beats Chuggy. Grenadier beats Chuggy with quite a lot left i think but yeah like striker says you get like two guys left over but they're both like half life from the cloud so it's not it's not like you kill a third of the squad it's like more than it's probably a half of the squad or more because both of the guys left are really low are quite low hit points but i think that's okay because they both cost the same and the chuggy has raider and i feel like raider is so overpowered like it's such a powerful ability like compared to emp yeah, we could do Liang Drone and Grenadier against Chuggy. We can try that out. I want to just do my Blitz right now, though. I'm trying to get this 10 0, man. It feels bad not getting the 10 0. They die. I think they, I think this squad dies in like 12 to 16 Flamer shots, so I don't know if they're overpowered yet. Uh, no one has funded my next run, but like I've just been trying to get the 10 0 with this deck. So I haven't really. Oh, a tank rush. I like it. I haven't really, like, um, set up the whole next run thing yet because I've just been trying to get Tenno and I keep messing it up. I keep losing to MGs like a garbage man. Well, this is embarrassing. Yeah. Oh, building a harvester? Jeez. Rip this guy. Everyone press F. Now is the time. I feel like this is a this is an appropriate time to use the alternate the alternate use for this. <laughs> That one really was a dunce harvester. I'm seeing a lot of F. I appreciate that, guys. 
just think, you know, that crew signs up. They sign up, they're ready to serve. They're like, alright guys, you're non-combat personnel, so you're going to be manning the harvester. But don't worry. And they're like, alright, let's do this, let's go get some Tiberium. And they pop out and there's like three laser squads and a giga out there. And they're like, wait, what? Pretty unfortunate scenario to be in. Like a oh no, here we go. Oh, and we'll go flames against laser stuff. On militants, or do uh, we'll do wheelie boys next. Where are you going, man? Going all the way in there? It's kind of crazy. Oof. Double militants to fight my flamers and runs into the old wheelie boys. Feels bad, my dude. Feels real bad. Oh, and he shot the flamers as well. That cannot be. A, that cannot feel good. Oh, chemicals. Okay. Kind of a scary unit. And he's playing Jade. I need to watch out for the missile. Might turn up sometime today. Oh, okay, cool. Right, these. Four giga. Yeah. Bank. Boop him out in time. Annoying. Oh. Wheels bad, man. <laughs> oh, that's good. What would what would a wheels bad man emote look like? I feel like that should be your emote, striker. You must be affiliate by now. That's a good emote, though, for sure. I like that. Would it be like a wheel with like bad wheel with like a um like a medic bandage on it or something? Hey Dragoon, what's up man? I hate you. We analyzed the replay and determined that two harvesters was the error. We'll just make Giga Counter way sooner. Alright, we'll go into wheels for this. The other thing about wheels is, if you open lasers, no one's going to expect you to have wheels in your deck. Because what kind of psychopath has wheels in their deck and doesn't go psych and doesn't go wheels first, you know? So you get a little bit of edge. People are like, oh, I, I can, I'm safe to make another... And they're like, oh, I, I'm safe, I can make another rifle here. And then you're like, lol, no wheels. Dude. Oh no, a mohawk. This is not good for me. Man, stealth tank's gonna take forever to build. Oh crap, another one? That boost was not good. Shouldn't have wasted so much on a boost that early. It was an error.
Um, excuse me? That juggernaut could be a problem. Random juggernaut. Goodbye, random juggernaut. Hello, random juggernaut. Bye, random juggernaut. <laughs> uh, these juggernauts have ended up not being as big an issue as I expected them to be. <laughs> All right, nice game, friend. Surprised I didn't delete his harvester ASAP. I was trying to I was trying to gain control of the board basically. Like the idea is to get get control of the area and then you push up with the giga. Because if you push a giga up too aggressively, you can get punished super hard for it. <laughs> But yeah, I, I I don't know, man. I feel like tech is definitely good on this map, by the way. Like just because like people who play tech tends to be quite bad, so get freebies, right? Like that game, the games I lost against MG. If I was playing Avatar instead of Basilisk, they both would have died when I made Avatar. Like Basilisk did not clean up the board, whereas a, a Avatar would have easily. I think if I played Avatar, I'd already have 10-0, honestly. Because it's just so much easier to play. Like it's such a it's such a it's such a freebie deck. Like Avatar just gives you so uh, yeah, Avatar just gives you a bunch of freebies. Like most people's decks, most decks that people play right now just get destroyed by Avatar. But if you play Avatar and you end up in an Avatar mirror, you have no edge. You're just playing an Avatar mirror. So that's why we play Basilisk instead. Because we don't want to just be playing an Avatar mirror. We assumed, honestly, I thought everyone was going to play Avatar. I am beyond amazed that there's less, there's not very much Avatar. Like, it, it boggles my mind that there isn't more Avatar. Because this is a great map for Avatar. And the last two champs we did, the last two champs we did, were pretty bad for Avatar, honestly. Like, they were okay, but not great. And we saw loads of Avatar. And now we're playing one where Avatar's actually insane, and no one's playing Avatar. So what's up with that? It's crazy. Like, I really thought we were just going to be on, like, fully Avatar for this, for, this, uh, for this Blitz. I'm really surprised that people have been playing things that aren't Avatar. Bigger hype. Unit yeah, basically, I thought that we were going to just see Avatar like 24 7. And I've been very surprised that we haven't. What is this guy doing? Yeah, congrats on your tenor, Dragoon. I'm glad I could be a part of it. Midnight says this map is bad for Avatar. Really? I feel like we tested the map and Avatar was crushing everything and that's why we played Basilisk, right? Like, we did we did a bunch of theorycrafting sessions for different 
like the last run that contained this and this run and avatar was just dominating everything that's why we decided to play basilisk because we just couldn't find an answer to avatar on this map like Nag like regular nod was just getting destroyed by avatar over and over again everything was like mg was as well everything was getting destroyed by avatar on this map that's why we decided to come up with something new but yeah i really thought everyone would just be playing avatar i was very surprised that i'm just not running into av avatar at all i think Ava i think if i played avatar i would have got 10 out very very easily because I just haven't played against anyone like ready for Avatar. It seems like no one I've played against has been ready to counter Avatar at all. Hopefully my wheels can get here in time. And then I can do this. Quick. Oh, fucked it up. Oh no, chems! Oh, that's frustrating. Can't stop chems from killing my lasers. Rip. Alright, time for a second harvester, I guess. Gotta respect the fact he could be playing Avatar. Fuck. Can't catch a break. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Rip. Alright, we're good, we're good, don't worry. We're good, we got this! Don't worry, everyone! Everyone stop panicking! Alright, cool. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't panicked, don't worry. At no point was I worried. Live, Giga, live! Alright, cool. Yes! Live, Giga! Lol, as if. As if you're gonna hit it without the cloud, my dude. No, the lock on change. Oh, Confessor. Confessor's so bad against wheels now, it's kind of hilarious. And sad. Uh, nice cat missile, I guess. Like what? How long is saying everyone is bored of Avatar? I don't think that's true. I find it hard to believe that anyone would be board of winning um if you play avatar copycat then yeah a you can end up playing mirrors which can come down to luck sometimes and b what if you just play against a guy who took our advice and played basilisk like that's the real problem. If you if you play Avatar and you just happen to run into the one guy who watched our stream and went, I'm going to play Basilisk, and you get punched by a Basilisk, then you're sad. Like, why play the Avatar deck, which loses to the Basilisk deck? Surely, like, if I, if I played the Avatar deck and I went 9-1 and lost to a guy with a Basilisk, 
You could say the same thing. You could go, why didn't you just play Basilisk? Jesus, only. Is your is your place okay? Yeah, Arlong. I don't think people are just bored of Avatar. Like, I think that people will play whatever wins, regardless of how much they have to play. Like, people will just spam a winning deck over and over and over for 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 weeks. It takes a long time for people to actually stop playing a winning deck just because they're bored. Like, winning is fun, so people will definitely play a deck that wins. Interesting turret. Not a big fan of that one. This guy doesn't know how to play against Giga. Keeps walking units towards it. I think I'm too aggressive with boost early. Yeah, okay. That's fair. That is a reasonable claim to make. Uh yeah, Dong Arena confessors are worth playing. Um briefly. When when back when people all text splashed, confessor was my Hex Splash of choice for Nod decks. Um, I think it was really good then. Basically, back it was like a really good tip sync because it was super beefy and it beat most things. Like it beat most low tier units basically because it would beat rhinos and buggies and talons and venoms and, and it would beat all the infantry. Like there were no flames and shocks running around then, so it would just crush. It would crush rifles and missiles. And I was the only person who played it, but I thought they were really good. Oh, and also. Back when the game very first started, like back at the very, very start of the beta, apparently Cyborgs and Confessors were a lot cheaper and were like super OP. Like they had to nerf both of them because apparently everyone was just making a Cyborg Confessor and it was like crazy OP. I'm not sure that's actually true, but apparently they were like crazy OP back then. It, I think it's more likely people didn't know what they were doing. Like that was back when everyone was playing like two tech units, so it's more likely people were just bad. Victoria's avatar. All right. Well, let's find out if the basilisk wins then. It should do. He's an avatar player and he's not making double harvest to start. Yeah, the militants does indicate that he's avatar for sure. Oh, wheelie boys. Taking a long time to make a second av uh, harvester.
how how sure are you that he's an avatar player? Oh, stealth tank as well. Yeah. No! Damn it! I blocked so well. I can't believe he got me. Holy shit, and a boost? Ah, I'm so, so bad at micro. Fuck my life. So bad at this game. Uh, this is not going to go well for him. Yeah. Cool. There's a second harvester. I need to stop getting punked by these goddamn stealth tanks. I'm just not going to make a Giga if he's making another stealth tank. Hmm. I guess against tank I kind of have to. I'll just make a Basilisk. Oh shit, I need to not boost it, right? Because then the stealth tank one-shots it. I miss playing. Maybe I can kill one of them? That'd be cool. Oh, maybe I can kill both? That'd be sweet. Duck it, stealth tank! GG! Can I kill a third? Sweet. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so many stealth tanks, man. Wow, that is, that is absurd. He must be using all of his money on stealth tanks. Wow, another one. Damn, son. I'm pop capped. This is very annoying. Alright, that went pretty smoothly, I'd say. And there's the Tenno. It is really difficult to micro Basilisks, man. They are such a pain. Such a pain. Okay, now we will do the old 